I'm Major General Red Brown. Please join me for the Country for Our Country Concert Weekend. Enjoy live entertainment and support this worthy cause. Good afternoon, East Texas. This is Danny Mogul and Kenneth Dean. And we're at the East Texas State Fair. The East Texas State Fair. And there's, there's some good stuff in the air. Can we stop right now? I need a funnel cake we right can, now. We cannot stop right now because there are some news we need to get to going on this afternoon in Smith County. There's a trial of a White House couple accused of scalding the feet and lower legs of their two year old granddaughter. Kenneth, that was a story that you covered, was it back in March? Uh, it was, Danny. Uh, it was. Uh, Originally, they said that the child accidentally uh, had gotten burned by hot water in the bathtub, but uh, of course the uh, police, uh, Tyler Police uh, detectives, uh, they looked at everything in the house along with yeah. CPS and the DA decided to go forward with charges. But well, apparently uh, authorities became suspicious because they were very inconsistent with their stories about how the child uh, received these burns. Their stories were inconsistent and that's why the DA decided to go forward with those charges. So this is Kenneth Neil Walker, 55, and his wife Shelly Walker, 60. They were living at 42 on Aberdeen Street here in Tyler when uh, that incident allegedly occurred. Also taking place this afternoon, the Fit City Group is meeting. Uh, they've got some big news that they're going to roll out tomorrow. One piece of this news has to do with a community-wide fitness challenge and also they're going to give us more information about a program that encourages healthy eating among children. Stuff. Well, that's, that's good. We, we definitely need that. We talked about last week in one of our segments that Texas is now ranked in the top 10 for obesity yeah. and uh, we're also ranked very high in uh, diabetes. Yeah. So Not good. Uh, this uh, initiative that uh, the Tyler paper is strongly behind is uh, along with the city of Tyler is uh, something that this community desperately needs. Yeah, they're meeting right now and we're going to have a lot more about that in the paper tomorrow. Uh, another piece of news that happens this morning Tyler City Council met and they approved this big sweeping plan to make improvements in the what they're calling the Midtown area. This includes the hospital district TJC going all the way wet, all the way east to Loop 323. And they said you can expect to see things like uh, banners like they have downtown, you know, those really nice banners, landscaping, lighting improvements. They're looking at land use. And I know that's a part of town that a lot of us are in all the time. That'd be nice. Well, you know, we, we've got our college kids coming in that direction, and uh, that will only just, uh, you know, help make Tyler look more homey for, you know, for those students as they come in and, and, and more well, me? welcoming, I guess Welcome. you would say. There you go. Hey, I, I thought you were saying something inappropriate for, oh, no. for, for a second. No. And, and stuff. They said some of this will kind of be rolled out in phases. They can uh, make some of the signage happen pretty soon and some other bigger changes uh, could come in a couple of years down the road. Another kind of a disturbing thing that happened, a third student at Andy Woods has come down with a whooping cough. And the mom says this child was vaccinated. So I don't know what to that is. That. that is kind of scary. You know, we've dealt with a lot of issues this mm. year. We've dealt with West Nile and now we're dealing with yeah. whooping cough. So, uh, uh, you know. The school is open. They said that they're wiping everything down and taking all the precautions that they need to. But the mother of this child says, you know, if your child's coming home with any kind of cough, it's going to be a really good idea to get them checked out. That, that's a that's a great idea. Absolutely. Again, we're here at the East Texas State Fair. Uh, the carnival will open just a few hours here uh, on the fairgrounds, and oh man, I am dying. Well, we talked about obesity a minute ago, but I have well, to admit, we're fixing to walk over here, and we're yeah. fixing to look at the fried foods. I mean, they've got yeah. fried pickles, they got fried Oreos, and heck, I may just have one of everything. Yeah, and we are not going to bring anything back to anybody. No, work. they can just come down here and get it themselves. See, we've got Fried Twinkies, fried cheesecake, my order. Fried velvet puppies, uh, peach puppies, fried peach tacos. Fried, I mean, fried cheesy. They, they've got everything fried. Our order is up right now, so I think I'm having a fried peach cobbler. What are you having, Danny? I am having a. I've already forgot. You're doing the taco peach taco. I'm having the fried peach taco. He's doing the fried oh, peach taco. Yum, I know yum. we talked about obesity a while ago, but once a year, it's not going to kill you. That's right. We will see you tomorrow.